If you're looking for an easy crochet slipper to make, then you've come to the right place. I'm Little John Yarns, and I make crochet videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell. You can go to littlejohnyarns.com and get the free written pattern to follow along with this video. All the links will be down in the description box below. Pattern sizes included in this slipper tutorial are small, medium, and large. Sides listed above are finished, unstretched measurements. Let's hop into the pattern breakdown. We'll begin by creating the sole, then moving on to the side and building up the heel. Next, we'll create the ridge top of the toe area. And lastly, we'll finish everything off sewing it all together. The materials used in this tutorial are worsted weight yarn, I'm using Lily's Sugar and Cream, a 4mm crochet hook, and a sewing needle. As usual, with all my tutorials, I provide timestamps for easy pattern navigation. Please check your gauge before you start this pattern and adjust your hook if necessary. To begin, I'm using a 4mm crochet hook and I'm using Cotton Sugar and Creams yarn. I will be giving you the sizes for small, medium, and large. To start, for small, chain 20, 24 for medium, and 28 for large. We're going to begin by single crocheting into the second chain from the hook. And for small, single crochet into the next 8. For medium, single crochet into the next 10. For large, single crochet into the next 12. So pause your video here. Continue placing your single crochets into the designated amount of stitches. Next, we're going to half double crochet into the very next stitch. Okay, for small, double crochet into the next eight. Medium, double crochet into the next 10. Large, double crochet into the next 12. So pause your video here. Continue to place the appropriate amount of double crochets into the next stitches. We've made it to the very end of the row. And now we're just gonna place five double crochets into that very last stitch right here. So we'll work that together. This is for everyone. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna be working on the bottom side of your chain. So underneath, for a size small, we're going to double crochet into the next eight stitches. Medium, double crochet into the next 10. Large, double crochet into the next 12. So pause your video here. Continue placing the appropriate amount of double crochets into the next stitches, and I'll meet you when you get there. We completed our sequence of double crochets. So now we're going to half double crochet into that very next stitch. Next, you're going to single crochet, if you're small, into the next eight stitches. If you're medium, single crochet into the next 10 stitches. If you're large, single crochet into the next 12 stitches. So pause your video here and continue to place the appropriate amount of single crochets into the next stitches. All right, we finished those. And at the very end of the row, you're going to place four single crochets into that last bottom stitch. One, two, three, and four. At the end of this row, if you're working on a small, you should have 44 stitches, medium, 52 stitches, large, 60 stitches. For round two, we're just going to slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet. Chain one. We're going to single crochet back into that very same space. All right, if you're a small, you're gonna single crochet into the next 17 stitches. If you're medium, single crochet into the next 21 stitches. If you're large, single crochet into the next 25 stitches. You'll know when to stop when you come to the five in that very last row here. So pause your video here. We completed all those single crochet. Now we made it to those five double crochets into the same stitch. What we're gonna do here is place two single crochets into each of the next five stitches. So remember, place two single crochets into that very same stitch. All right, pause your video here. Continue placing two single crochets 
into the next five stitches and I'll meet you at the completion of those stitches. All right, we completed those toe pieces. Now we're just going to single crochet, if you're small, single crochet into the next 18. If you're medium, single crochet into the next 22. If you're large, single crochet into the next 26 stitches. So pause your video here, continue placing the correct amount of single crochets, and I'll meet you at the end. All right, we completed those stitches, and you made it to the last three stitches in your row. And for those, you're just going to place two single crochets in each of the last three stitches. So that's one, next stitch. That's two, and place two single crochets into that last stitch. And that's three. At the end of round two, if you're small, you should have a total of 52 stitches. Medium, a total of 60. Large, a total of 68. So let's slip stitch to join into the top of your single crochet, the first one. If you're following along to the pattern, we are on round three, and we're gonna begin with a chain one, and we're gonna single crochet back into that very same stitch. Okay. If you are a size small, you're gonna single crochet into the next 17 stitches. If you're a size medium, you're gonna single crochet into the next 21 stitches. And if you're a size large, you're gonna single crochet into the next 25 stitches. So pause your video here and continue to place the designated uh, amount of single crochets, and I'll meet you when you make it right about here. Next, we're just gonna do a little pattern repeat. We're going to start with a sing two single crochets into the next stitch. Another single crochet back into that same stitch. And single crochet into the next. We're going to do that a total of five times. That was one. So two single crochets into the next. One. Two single crochet into the next. That's considered two times. We'll work this quickly together. I won't pause the video. Two into the next. I'm moving fast. Single crochet into the next. That's three. Two single crochets into the next. Single crochet into the next. That's four. Two more single crochets into that next stitch. And single crochet into the next. And that is a total of five. So for the next, if you're small, single crochet into the next 18 stitches. If you're a medium, single crochet into the next 22 stitches. And if you're a large, single crochet into the next 26 stitches. Pause your video here, continue working your single crochets all the way down, and I'll meet you at the very end of your heel. Okay, we made it to our last six stitches. Everyone should have six stitches. And we're just gonna do a pattern sequence again. We're gonna do two single crochets into that next stitch three times. That's one single crochet into the next. Well, it's not one. <laughs> now it's one. Two single crochets into the same, single crochet into the next. That's considered one. All right, two single crochets into the next stitch. and single crochet into the next. That is two. Two single crochets into the next stitch. And single crochet into that very last stitch. That's three. At the very end of this row, if you're small, you should have 60, 68 for medium, and 76 for large. Let's slip stitch to join into the top of that very first single crochet. We're gonna begin round four. So we already chained one. We're gonna single crochet back into that very same space. Okay, if you are small, single crochet into the next eight stitches. If you are medium, single crochet into the next 10 stitches. If you are large, single crochet into the next 12 stitches. Pause your video here, and I'll meet you at the completion of your single crochets. We completed those single crochets, and next you're gonna half double crochet into that very next stitch. 
If you're small, you're gonna single, I'm mean, sorry, if you're small, you're gonna double crochet into the next eight stitches. If you're medium, you're gonna double crochet into the next 10 stitches. And if you're a large, you're gonna double crochet into the next 12 stitches. So pause your video here. I'll meet you at the completion of your double crochets. We completed those additional double crochets. So now we're gonna work around the toe of our uh, shoe. So this is gonna be our pattern repeat. You're gonna place two double crochets into the next stitch, followed by a double crochet in the next two stitches five times. Don't worry, I'll work you through it at least twice. So let's do two double crochets into that next stitch. One, back into the same stitch. Two, one double crochet into the next two stitches. One, two. We're gonna repeat that a total of five times. So this time was one. So two double crochet into the same stitch for the next one. One, two followed by one double crochet into the next two stitches. Make sure I get my stitches lined up, yep. One into the next stitch, two. That's considered two times total. So continue doing that three additional times for a total of five, and I'll meet you when you make it over here. Okay, we completed the toe area, and this is what it looks like. So now, we're just going to DC, if you're small, double crochet into the next eight stitches. If you're a medium, double crochet into the next 10 stitches. If you're a large, double crochet into the next 12 stitches. All right, pause your video here, continue placing the right amount of double crochets, and I'll meet you down right about halfway through. Okay, we completed those. So now you're gonna half double crochet into that very next stitch. And next we're gonna work single crochets. Remember, if you are a small, we're gonna single crochet into the next nine stitches. If you are a medium, you're gonna single crochet into the next 11 stitches. And if you're a large, you're gonna single crochet into the next 13 stitches. So pause your view here and complete those single crochets and I'll meet you at the very back half of your heel right here. We made it to the very end of the row and everybody should have an open about a number of nine stitches left. So next we're just gonna do the pattern repeat just like we did at the toe, but we're gonna do with single crochets. You're gonna place two single crochets into that very next stitch. One, two, followed by one single crochet into the next two stitches. One, two. So that's considered one part of your pattern re sequence. I'll work them all with you. Two into the next, one single crochet into the next two stitches. One, go to your next stitch. All right, that's the second part of your sequence. Let's do the third part. Two into the next, One single crochet into the next two stitches. One, next stitch, and two. At the end of round four, if you're small, you should have a total of 68 stitches. If you're medium, a total of 76. If you're large, a total of 84. So next we're gonna slip stitch to join, and when you slip stitch to join, we're gonna slip stitch to join just into the front loop right here. For everybody, everybody's stitch count is gonna be the same for the next uh, round. So slip stitch to join, but just on the front loop. That's the loop closest to you. Chain one, and single crochet right back into that front loop. We're gonna place a single crochet in each front loop only all the way around. So pause your video here, continue placing a single crochet into each front loop all the way around, and I'll meet you back at the other side. We've made it back around, and we're just gonna slip stitch to join into the very first single crochet. We're gonna be working into both loops at this time. The next three rows are gonna be exactly the same. Chain one, 
and single crochet into the same stitch and all the way around. So you're gonna do a single crochet row for three rows. So pause your video here, continue your single crochet for three rows and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, this is what it looks like after we completed those additional three rows. So now we're gonna start the back half of the heel. Right now, this is the toe and this is the heel. I want you to mark off the center stitches of your heel. If you're small, I want you to mark off the center 32 stitches. If you're medium, the center 34 stitches. And if you're large, the center 38. If you're having trouble finding the center 38, there's a little trick you can do. If you remember back on uh, your sole where you had a half double crochet, they kind of line up with your half double crochet. So you can start from there, put a stitch marker and count your way around. So now that we have our stitch markers in place, let's begin. I'm gonna attach my yarn. Remember my toe is facing to my right. Attach the yarn, single crochet into that same space, and single crochet all the way around into that very next stitch marker. So pause your video here, continue placing single crochets around into that very next stitch marker. We've made it to the second stitch marker, and now we're just gonna chain one and turn your work. We're gonna single crochet into that very same space, and we're gonna single crochet all the way around and repeat three times. So one, chain one, do another row, and single crochet back around. We're gonna repeat that single crochet in each row three times. All right, pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of your three rows of single crochet. Here's what your shoe looks like after your three rows and you're just gonna fasten off your work. When you fasten off, make sure you leave a long tail for sewing so we can sew on our insert. So we'll move this to the side and now we're gonna work on our insert. Okay, if you're working on a small, chain 13. Working on a medium, chain 15. Working with a large, chain 17. So what we're gonna do, I like to work into the back humps of my work. We're gonna single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And we're gonna single crochet all the way across. So pause your video here, continue placing single crochets all the way across, and I'll meet you at the other side. You've made it to the very end of the row, and if you're following along to the pattern, you should have a total of 12 if you're small, 14 if you're medium, 16 if you're large. For row two, we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna be working into the back loops only. We're gonna place two single crochets into this back loop. One, two. And now we're gonna back loop single crochet all the way across to the other side. And on your very last back loop, we're gonna place two more single crochet. So pause your video here and we'll work those last two together. We've made it to the last stitch. Remember, we placed one single crochet in each one and now we're gonna place two single crochets into that last back loop stitch. You increase this row by two stitches. So your next row is gonna be chain one. And like before, we're just going to place a single crochet into both loops. One single crochet all the way across. So pause your video here, continue placing single crochets all the way across. Okay, we completed that row. So we're gonna repeat the last two rows two more times. So you're adding on four more rows. So the next row, you're gonna chain one, e, turn your work, and place two single crochets into the back loop, single crochet all the way across, and place two single crochets into the back loop on the next side. And on your following row, you're just gonna place an even row of single crochets. We're gonna repeat those last two rows two more times. So pause your video here. Okay, if you're following along to the written pattern, you just completed row seven. Now we're starting row eight. It's almost the same, but we're doing in reverse by decreasing. So we're gonna chain one, Turn your work. We're gonna back loop single crochet two stitches together. So take your hook, insert it into the back loop of your first stitch, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the back loop of the second stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, and pull through. 
that is a back loop single crochet together. So we're going to continue to place back loop single crochets all the way across until you make it to the last two stitches. And the last two stitches, we're going to do a back loop single crochet together again. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it to the last two stitches, so let's back loop single crochet together again. All right, we just completed row eight. Chain one, let's go to row nine, and we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So pause your video here, continue placing one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. We've made it to the very end of the row, and we're just gonna repeat the last two rows two more times. So remember, we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna single crochet, well, back loop single crochet two stitches together, then single crochets across, and on the last two, back loop single crochet together. And on the second row, you're just gonna put an even row of single crochets working through both loops. So repeat the last two rows two more times, and I'll meet you when you're done. After you're done with all your single crochet rows, this is what your piece should look like. So here you go. We're gonna be working everything on the opposite side. So here's gonna be our outside with the ridge. We're flipping everything inside out, including our shoe. You can tell this is the outside because I have that little ridge going around the bottom. We're gonna be turning that inside out. I don't know if you're like me, but whenever I create these shoes, I always have one side that is pointier than the other. This one's kind of round. I like to put the side that's pointy, close um, facing towards the toe of your shoe and to find the very tip of your toe we're just going to fold your shoe in half it doesn't have to be perfect and find the estimate of where the center part of the tip of your toe is and this is going to help us sew on our um, insert a little bit easier okay we're going to take our insert remember upside down and you remember how I had that long strand for we've um, sewing we're going to use that. I put my needle on. We're going to line up these rows here. We're going to push three stitches. One, two, three. And we're going to line up those three stitches with one, two, three. Let me turn to work so you can better see it. And we're going to be working only on the outside loops. Well, I'm sorry, the loops facing towards you. Even though there's no loops on this side, just, you know, imagine. So work on the outside loops only, front loops, I should call it. That's the first one, one. Space it down, go into the next one. Two and three. For the remainder of these, you're just gonna work in each one of the front loops only. Remember, front loops. With your yarn, go into the front loop, match the front loop on your insert piece, and pull through. We're gonna do that all the way around, but I'm gonna give you an extra tip once you make it past here, and we're working around in front of the toe because some people have problems sewing that and guessing how many stitches. So pause your video here, continue working all these stitches until you run out of stitches on your front insert. Okay, we finished sewing that first side. If you flip it over, you can see by just uh, sewing the front loops, you create this ridge that's gonna go all the way around your shoe. So I was gonna tell you so you know how many stitches to sew for your front part. So remember how I marked the center for my front of my toe? We're gonna count over the remainder stitches left. We have one, two, three, four, five stitches. We need five stitches before we get to the center peak. So I'm just gonna map out where I'm gonna crochet. I mean, not crochet, but sew those five stitches. So I know I have a space here. Maybe I'll do one, two, three, four, five stitches, and on my sixth stitch will match up with there. I like to plan it out so I don't have it all bunched up in a certain spot. So I hope that, hope that tips helps. So we're gonna do that, 
and then we're going to start on the other side. I'll probably also give you a tip on how to sew the opposite side and back down. So pause your video here and sew to the tip of your toe. Okay, we made it to that center part and let's put that stitch in to match up the center. All right, another tip so your shoe's not all wobbly and so you can get it all perfectly mashed up on the other side. If you are working a small shoe, count over nine stitches and put a stitch marker. If you're working a medium, count over 11 stitches and put a stitch marker. And if you're working uh, a large, count over 16 stitches and put a stitch marker. So we are going to place evenly stitch all those to this stitch marker. Does it make sense? Let's count over. For mine, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine stitches until I get to the stitch marker. So therefore, I know I'm gonna have to map out how I'm gonna uh, put nine stitches into my spot. So for here, I'll probably put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you have more or less, it doesn't matter. Just try to map it out as evenly as you can to match this row. So pause your video here and continue sewing until you make it to your stitch marker and I'll meet you there. All right, we completed that and made it to the stitch marker. Let me remove this and the rest is easy sailing from here. You're just gonna evenly match up your uh, stitches Remember, you're just going through the front loops closest to you. You're going to evenly match these up all the way going up the side. And your last three stitches should go right here. One, two, three. So pause your video here and continue sewing the rest of your slipper insert on. Once you're done, turn it the right side out and weave in all your ends. All right, make sure you check out my other crochet slipper patterns. And I'll see you all on the very next tutorial.